Um, obviously, I'm pleased with the balance we had on the offensive end, inside and outside, and it was a great opportunity for us to to get to play a lot of people. I, I credit uh, Kennesaw State. I really thought that um, this is one of their better teams um, that they've had. I know they're a little short-handed on the perimeter, and that's tough to play a team like Georgia Tech that presses for 40 minutes when you only have three or four guards. So, you know, I give them a lot of credit. I thought the guards that did play did a great job for them taking care of the basketball and, and making shots um, against our pressure. Um, but I, I really felt like um, we did a good job of getting the ball inside. That was a goal for the game and controlling the boards. Um, you know, one of the areas we, we need to continue to work on is our fouling. Um, we had 18 fouls tonight. We'd like to foul less than 15 times. So, you know, we saw – obviously we didn't shoot the free, our free throws as well as we'd like, but we did see some improvement in our presses. We had an opportunity to play a lot of people and work on different combinations. So, um, you know, I thought Danny Hamilton Carter and TJ uh, Gortner did a great job on the inside of making shots and, and getting rebounds. Well, I thought that we did a good job getting post touches. I mean, we had, um, you know, all of our post players played, I thought, played fairly well, shot over 70% from the field as a post group. So I thought we were able to get the ball inside pretty effectively. Um, I thought one of the things that, that we do, we're doing a much better job of this year, is pushing the ball in transition on makes or misses. And we're able to get some easy shots, um, not just against Kennesaw State, but against in the first four games we played, um, just based on our, our improvement in our transition game. Mm -hmm. You go. You heard that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you could have missed it, could you? <laughs> well, well, you know, it's been. Um, we were. We Saturday. We were at Marquette. We came back. We practiced Sunday and Monday. Um, you know, not only getting ready for Kennesaw State, but we have a big week ahead of us. Um, the next three opponents are top twenty opponents um, in the country. Uh, you know, we're going to play Rutgers, and we're playing Wisconsin and Green Bay. And after that, we come home and play Nebraska. So we've got our work cut out for us. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough week ahead. And one of the things I, I was, um, you know, you, we get to go on a trip like San Juan. Sometimes you get excited about that, and it's hard not to look ahead to that trip and, and not take care of what's in front of you. And that was one of the things that I was really emphasizing over the last couple of days because I felt like Kennesaw State was much improved. Um, in the tapes I'd seen and really felt like we needed to come in here and, and, and handle business, our business right off the bat. And also I thought we needed to really improve in some areas um, heading into this tournament in San Juan. Um, yes, Jasmine tore her ACL um, in the game, um, and uh, she'll be redshirted this season, um, and she'll have surgery in the next couple of weeks. But, you know, obviously it's unfortunate. Um, she was really playing extremely well for us and, uh, you know, gave us a lot of depth on the perimeter. Um, but it's one of those things where, you know, I know Jazz is a great kid, and she'll, she'll come, ba come back stronger than she was before. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Dawn's the type of player that, um, you know, we didn't have her at Marquette. Um, she was at home with her family for a funeral. And, you know, I was really pl proud of the way our team played without Dawn because Dawn makes so many things happen for us, um, especially on both ends of the floor. Um, she's a catalyst on defense. She's a catalyst in our break on offense. So, you know, even though she maybe not score in double figures, she causes us, she gives so many other people easy baskets because of what she's able to create off her penetration and the way she pushes the ball. Feels great. Um, I'm really excited to be able to actually start out a season with the team. This being the first time I've ever like gone out on the floor with the team for the first part of the season. So I'm just going to move on from here. Keep working hard every day in practice and just keep going from there. Oh, definitely. We need to um, take advantage of our um, the mismatches inside and stuff like that. And we've been really working on um, in practice, like demanding the ball, getting post touches, and that's something we've had to work on a lot as post players. Not just being open, but we need to be a post presence, establish ourselves inside. So I feel like we did that um, really well this game.
Well, I think it's a really interesting matchup from the films I've seen so far. Um, it's like a mirror version of ourselves. Um, you know, they're guard oriented. Uh, that might be the, what's the difference in the teams. I think we have, uh, you know, more depth on the inside and we, we utilize our post players more. But Rutgers is a, a very perimeter oriented team that presses and traps very much like we do for 40 minutes. Um, you know, they want to run and transition and score easy baskets the way we do. Um, very similar styles of play. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see that game, you know, because I think whoever turns the ball over the least amount of times will win. Um, and also whoever controls the boards because whoever gets the ball at the most possessions in that game is going to win it because both of us want the possessions, both of us want to score quickly. So it's going to be a very interesting matchup. I think it's going to be a great game against two top 20 teams. Um, you know, I think it's, it's unfortunate it's not televised or it's not um, here where people could see it because I think it's going to be a very interesting women's basketball game, a tremendous athleticism and speed. This isn't your first game out here. You played a couple out here. It's our third game here. Third game, so, yeah. It's our home arena. Yeah, uh, <laughs> again, your thoughts on um, now that you've had a few games out here, on, on getting used to the place, I guess. Well, it's interesting. We, I was looking at our schedule. When we actually, when we went to Marquette, we, they, uh, their gym was being utilized for the Big East Championship for volleyball. So we had to play in their arena, Bradley Center, where the Bucks, Milwaukee Bucks play. So until we play at Georgia, a uh, seventh game of the year, we will not play on a college campus. Um, so it's kind of a unique year for us. Um, you know, that'll be our first game at an, on actually someone's home floor. Um, so. It's just one of those years. Um, but, you know, I, one thing I do think this is going to help us is prepare us for postseason. Um, you know, they're not, we're not really going to play on our – we're never going to play on our home floor at this point um, in postseason. So we have to learn to play on the road. And I think, if anything, playing in these kind of arenas uh, it, like Gwinnett is, is preparing us for that.